Prepare your spark plugs for installation by removing the screw-on nubs. A pair of pliers may be required for this. You will notice the positive engagement between the silicone boot and the spark plug. You will notice the distributor cap has been modified by machining down the nub to clear the distributor. When using the cap adapter for a pins gower, you will place the clips in the hole set that is the furthest counterclockwise. If additional waterproofing is required, a thin coat of RTV silicone can be used between the cap and adapter. Remove the stock distributor cap and the high tension lead from the engine. We will sometimes use a split 19 millimeter wrench in order to remove the high tension lead from the coil. Replace the old rotor with the new Bosch rotor that is supplied in the kit and check the mechanical advance to make sure that it snaps back quickly. Install the cap and adapter with the three retaining screws. The cap will only install in one orientation. Install the high tension lead from the coil to the center terminal on the cap. The ignition firing order goes one, two, four, three in a clockwise rotation starting from the right front terminal on the cap. The cylinders on the Pinsgauer engine are laid out one, two, three, four from the front of the engine or the front of the vehicle moving towards the back of the vehicle. You will now need to remove the spark plug wires from the spark plugs. An offset wrench is very handy for this.
remove the spark plugs with the spark plug wrench supplied in the Pinsgauer tool kit. After removing all of the shielded spark plugs, install the new standard spark plugs into the engine. Attach your spark plug wires as per the firing order mentioned earlier. You'll notice that throttle response and idle are very smooth after the ignition is installed. 